please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Izzy Schamberger. And I'm Les Peters. And Izzy, I'm glad to see you put in a little bit more effort, but you still got it wrong. The senior show is Friends, not The Office. OK, I can't help that The Office is just such a better show. Well, luckily for you, on today's show, we'll tell you what to wear tomorrow, so maybe you can get it right. Plus, we have some sports updates, all that, and much more, because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. <laughs> Geneva, here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, September 12th, 2018. Today is your last chance to turn in all guest passes for homecoming. Make sure to have a photocopy of your guest ID and turn it into the dean's office by the end of today. French Club meets today after school in room J241 and will be voting for club officers and finalizing plans for the homecoming parade. This year, some of the students running for vice president are Tegan King, Caroline Winokur, and Kate Bushman. This will be an important meeting, so make sure to attend and vote for your new officers. If you are still looking for a job, then make sure to take a look at the job board in the cafeteria or counseling and advising office. Many jobs have been posted for the 2018-19 year, and if you are interested in test driving a career, visit the Career Center to get more information. Geneva's very own Bath Club will meet after school in room H205 every Thursday through October. It's a fun club that's sure to reel in a great time. Please contact Mr. Anderson if you have any questions or you won't be able to attend one of the meetings. The first FCCLA meeting will be held tomorrow after school in room EE182. Stop by for some ice cream and or if you're interested in this competitive and service-based club focusing on interior design, culinary arts, early childhood, all are welcome to come. SAD Club had a meeting after school yesterday where they chose their president. They would like to announce the new, announce the new president, Senior Grace Hahn. Congratulations, Grace. Yesterday we found out that a lot of people in our building don't know much about our high school fight song, <clears throat> Izzy, and G2 reporter Celia Owen has the second part of the story. Let's take a look. Let's go to Yesterday, we found out that the students and staff didn't know our fight song. Today, I dove a little deeper to find out the true history. We're unique in this way at Geneva High School that we had four students back in the early 1930s who wrote the song. A lot of high schools tend to use college fight songs and then adapt it to meet their needs. The song was written by, as I said, four graduates, uh, Helen Anderson, Doris Nilroos, Alice Anderson, and Fern Nelson. Our fight song isn't just a song. It means so much more. Well, it has special meaning for me because I am a graduate of Geneva High School, so I, I remember a lot of events, a lot of great memories, uh, making music with my classmates. And now to come back as one of the band directors and share that and pass that, uh, that tradition on with my students is very special. Every time, every time I hear the band, especially our band, our band is so good at, at playing it, a sense of pride when I, when I hear the song. And, um, usually it means a victory, too, by, by one of our, our athletic teams. GHS Fight Song, bringing the school spirit since 1930. For GTV News, I'm Celia Owen reporting. Thanks, Celia. It looks like our school has a little bit of work to do on knowing our fight song. And last night, it was a busy night of sports here at Geneva High School from volleyball to soccer. If you weren't able to make it to any of them, don't worry, we have you covered. Let's check in with Emma Patak, who was at the volleyball game and has us the report. Last night, the girls' volleyball team took on the North Stars in the contest gym. Number three, Ellie Ford, had a great game with six kills and eight attacks. Along with number one, Grace Hinchman, diving in for some great saves. 
The first set came close with the North Stars leading with a score of 25 to 22. The Vikings played a strong game but ended up losing the second set 16 to 25. The girls may have lost last night, but today they are ready to take on Wheaton Warrenville South. For GTV Sports, I'm Emma Patak. Last night, the Vikings took on St. Charles North on Burgess Field. Jack Belilly had a great goal at the start of the game. The, bo the boys played great defense, but the North Stars tied it up in the second half, ending the game 1-1. One -one. I thought we played really well. Um, we got off to a rocky start to the season, but uh, these last three games we've been playing very well. And now here's three to know before we go. Guest passes for homecoming are due at the end of the day today. Tomorrow is Jersey Day is. Maybe you can try to get it right tomorrow. And the freshmen won the Spirit Day check-in yesterday. So seniors, let's pull together and win the Spirit Stick. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Izzy Schamberger. And I'm Elias Peters. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Geneva.